welcome to the program, Woodlawn Hospital. And Brad Rogers joins us with a host of other people. Brad, how are you? We're good, we're good, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for coming in again uh, for your monthly visit. Uh, tell us who you brought with you today. Well, Mr. Fisher, our CEO, yeah. is here. Um, always glad to have him. And we've got behind us uh, Krista Booster, our marketing director. And to my right is Aaron Bowser. And Aaron is our coordinator of long-term care contracts and our wellness program at the hospital. Awesome. So we'll be looking forward to talking to you folks here in a little bit. Brad, looks like you've got uh, some stuff you want to talk about there in front of you. Sure. We'll give you guys a quick update on the financial side from the board meeting. Um, Overall, a, a pretty decent month. Um, we did have an operating profit, which is our goal every month, of about $50,000. And then with our other non-operating revenue, uh, total net gain of about 500000 So um, I would like to say, you know, kind of a congratulatory thing to the business office and the uh, accounts receivable team and all of them. They have worked their tails off um, in the last year, or sorry, in the last couple months to really make some improvements in getting your money in the door. Yeah. And, and, and helping uh, that situation out. It always helps that bottom line. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Which uh, then allows you to do other Yeah, great allows things. Us to, it allows us to grow and get out in the uh, community and do more things. So uh, um, that, that was a very good thing. And then a couple other positives to note. We're still well ahead on our uh, budget for swing bed program. You know, that's our um, kind of rehab to home thought process where we can keep a patient after they've had that acute stay. Um, get them back to being independent and transition back home safely. So whether they're from the community and having their care at Woodlawn or they've received care at a tertiary facility like Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, or South Bend, if they need a little extra, they can be transferred to us. We can take care of them and allow them to go directly from the hospital home uh, independently. So that's doing well again. Um, and then also our physician office visits. You know, we're still trying to get back up to those pre-COVID numbers, but uh, we're about 7% above this year uh, at the same time as we were last year. So we're seeing some slow, steady some progress. Slow steady. And, and, and that's probably going to be an unfortunate thing. That it's going to be a little slow and steady because yeah. uh, obviously there's still talk of COVID-19 around and there's still uh, signs of it that people are still a little leery at, at times. Sure, sure. And I think, you know, uh, habits. Yeah. You get into the habit of going doing your visits a couple times a year and you get out of that habit for a couple years, yeah. there is some time that we need to get that behavior readjusted and, and get you back in there and get taken care of. So yeah. It's one of those things like it, it doesn't matter which doctor it is, a dentist, a regular doctor, you miss that appointment and then, oh yeah, I, I forgot, I, I need to reschedule that. Absolutely. So it's a mindset too. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're working to help with that and, and, and get people uh, you know, the info that, hey, we're open for business and we can get you in, just give us a call and let us yeah, know. That's it. That's the first step, right? Absolutely. Make the call. <laughs> Absolutely. And then just a quick update on our construction. We're moving right along with the Schaefer building, still on track to be open at the very end of this year, early next year, um, to transition our Fulton County Medical Clinic from downtown back over towards the uh, hospital at the Schaefer Medical Building. Have it so, on campus. Make it have it on easier. campus, make yeah. it a little more convenient for patients and staff. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Good deal there. All right, so now what are we going to talk about? Well, I just wanted to mention to the community, um, one of our departments at Woodlawn Hospital, uh -huh. it's called Claim Aid. Um, Claim Aid is a group of individuals who are here for the community to help community members get connected to the right um, state and federal programs uh, for insurance needs. Uh -huh. And so um, we have two Claim Aid representatives that work directly in our hospital. Um, they are there to support the community finding that connection with that, that patient and the right insurance so that they can not only receive care at Woodlawn without the worry and the, the financial side, um, but also they can take that insurance because it's a program that's throughout the state and the federal government, right. and they can take it and get those specialist cares taken care of down in Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, South Bend. Right. You know, we can't do everything at Woodlawn, and we want to make sure that we connect patients to the right resources. So um, we, we and, love that program. And financially help them as well. Absolutely. Sure it's it's a, there. a huge burden can be yeah. lifted upon them, uh, from them if they can come in and get that taken care of. Awesome. So our department is called Claim Aid, and they can get in touch with us at the main switchboard, and, okay. and we can get you transferred there, and they can set up a time to come in and meet with them awesome. and uh, go over what's available to them. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then next to my right, like yeah. we talked about, Aaron Bowser. Yes. Um, Aaron has uh, been with Woodlawn for... Month and a half. Month and a half or so? Okay. Yes. Okay. 
A rookie. And, and that's right. <laughs> Very much so. So I did, after a reminder this morning, um, I walked in and said, I did tell you that we're being videotaped. Because uh, right? I made that mistake that once before, and, and I got in trouble. No. Oh, <laughs> yes. I can't picture you getting Someone in didn't no. do their hair, or someone uh, didn't do something right. And I so have I that same problem every morning. Do you? Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm on radio. <laughs> we're extremely happy to have Aaron uh, with us, and uh, kind of tell the group a little bit about just kind of what you're doing at Woodlawn and, and what you're hoping to do. Um, I currently live in the Akron area. Um, I have uh, 20 years of nursing experience. Um, I've never worked for not-for-profit before, so this is a new <laughs> excursion for me, but um, I really like the environment of Woodland. Yeah. It's very open and caring, um, quality focused, which is important. Um, my current role is in uh, wellness, um, so that includes internal and external wellness. So I can help with um, employee wellness events and things of that nature, along with HR. But then also in the community, um, we can provide corporate wellness services to local employer groups. So um, sometimes that's more of like a company specific request or maybe their insurer right. requires certain um, metrics to be met um, for the year. So in order to help insurance costs. So um, lab services, biometrics, height, weight, blood pressure, knowing what your BMI is. And then on the back side, taking those results and educating them on how they can improve their numbers. So hopefully we see a trend from year to year. Yes. Uh, if we can continue that of um, healthier employees and fewer insurance claims. Well, that yeah, that's a great thing to too because that connects is uh, Woodlawn with the community and gives them another uh, opportunity to to stay local and mm -hmm. and then have to go out of town looking for the same same option. Right. right. Yeah, I mean. And Brad, you know, you've been around a long time in the community. That, that's a big thing because anymore with, with uh, insurances and stuff the way they are, uh, that's huge to have that availability to have somebody come and talk to your employers. Yeah, it's a really nice thing. And like Aaron said, you know, companies can reach out to her and, um, you know, they may have different needs based on their particular insurance situation, whether they're self-insured or they're through a bigger program. Um, you know, there may be things that they're required to do and we can work with them on figuring out a way to either come to them and do it right there on site or set it up to where they can come to the hospital and get it done. Um, we've got a new uh, an email that, that we can get information out. It's wellness at woodlawnhospital.com. Okay. So if anybody has a question, that'll go right to Erin and she can get back with you on that. Um, we've already had some nice things happen. We've reached out and we've worked with the county already and did a, the health fair for them. Or, yeah. We're partnering with the schools a little bit more and going out and doing some work with them soon. And so uh, anybody who needs us, you know, reach out to Erin and we're, we're extremely happy to have her. I, I, I really like to see the, the, the reach out to the schools because if you could, especially the younger kids, if you can start them earlier, uh, maybe you won't have near the need as they get into the workforce. They already know kind of how to take care of themselves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Erin, what, what, what are you like to, I mean, obviously just, uh, very fresh, very new. Where do you see it uh, in the next six months? What do you What do you hope to see happen? Um, more community involvement. I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, having more relationships with local businesses so that we can build a strong foundation yeah. in that. Yeah. Now, you know, and that uh, that that is big. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, to keep people local. We, you know, we keep saying shop local and do that. You know, all the businesses say that. Well, it's not only when it's Christmas time. It's also for your health. Sure. Yes. You know, Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's a big big plus. Uh, give us that email address one more time if people have questions or want to reach out to you. Uh, wellness at woodlawnhospital.com. Okay, awesome, awesome. Looking forward to uh, some great things happening there with that. And, uh, hopefully uh, the community jumps right on board and a lot of uh, businesses will too. We've had a lot of support on that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, you know, and that's, I, I know when I found out my diabetic uh, status uh, was through a wellness thing with the, with my former employee so you know that's that's a big important because you sometimes you don't know what that you know like I was tired a lot I didn't think that about it but yeah had a, had a test and you know found out I was diabetic so those are important to find out because you don't just go to the doctor because you're tired right. you know I mean so correct fly you, under the radar. right yeah so a lot of those underlying things hopefully you can teach people and catch early, and, and catch early. yeah great absolutely that's our goal yeah mm -hmm. that's our goal Anything else, Brad, here this morning? Well, we've got Krista here. Uh, She's going to step up to the, right. to the microphone. We'll rotate the microphone we'll rotation here. Yeah. there. Good morning, Krista. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good, good. What's happening in the marketing? Oh, well, we have a lot coming up this next. 
Friday to Monday. You're gonna see us out and about. So if you are coming to the Boo Fest, we're gonna be right in front of Fulton County Medi Fulton Medical. Fulton County. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I had to give you a shower. Give last one on. I got this <laughs> right. Um, and then we're also gonna be in Argon, Ar Akron and Argus. Um, on Monday night, so we're going to be out in front of the clinics there, going to okay. be passing out um, special treats, so you better stop by, it's going to be good, okay, I won't tell you what it is, um, and candy, so in August we're going to be participating in the community trick-or-treat from 5 to 7, okay. and then Akron will be there from 6 to 8, and we would just love for everyone to stop by, um, you know, we really really aren't just saying we want to be a part of the community where we want to we're going to follow that up with actions we yeah. want to become a trusted neighbor and friend and um, so please stop out and then also um we have a lot of fun things happening on social media so if you're not following us please come <laughs> follow us um you know at instagram it's at woodlawn hospital and then you can search Woodlawn Hospital on Facebook, um, and we're sharing lots of good stuff. I'd hate for anyone to miss that. Yeah, I don't want to miss anything. That's the easy, easy way to follow along, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've learned I've got to get an Instagram account now. <laughs> you, you learned, <laughs> they're, they're I learned that you there too? was kind of an age thing there where yeah. I was told today older people have Facebook, uh, <laughs> and Instagram's for younger people. So I've got to well, really get hip. I guess. Brad, I hate to tell you, you're you're not the only. I understand. One, so, uh, I understand. Instagram, I wasn't sure what that was either. Right? There you go. You know, so I've learned quickly too. So, right. Right. Yeah. so yes, that's a, a neat thing to, uh, to follow along there. So some great things, some uh, interesting surprises then with the uh, giving out the, uh, besides the candy, some interesting treats. Huh? Yeah, uh, they're going to be real spooky. So oh. you better stop by and see us. Again, that's Limited Friday, surprise. Yeah, Friday at the Boo Fest and then uh, Argus and Akron on Monday. Yeah, we hope to see a lot of people come out. Perfect. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, any other uh, health fairs or anything else going on that you know of here in the next month or so? No, we are working on some uh, some things with uh, other uh, community members, and, and we'll get that back okay. out to you as soon as we can. Yeah. Uh, we hope to, at some point, reinstitute our community wellness fair that we used to have. Um, so we're working on kind of the preliminary information on that. Yeah. If, some, if somebody's listening and wants uh, to, to have something, how, who do they get a hold of? For if they want to have a health fair, uh, some business, or absolutely. Something. Wellness at woodlawnhospital.com. Yeah. Okay. That goes directly okay. to Aaron. Uh, they can call the main number there, two two three three one four one, and ask for Aaron uh, okay. Bowser, and we'll get her taken care. of. Awesome. So yeah, there's a lot of opportunities there, uh, especially this time of year. You know, if we're getting to Thanksgiving and Christmas, everybody's all those goodies, and we don't want to take it totally away, but there's healthy ways to do it, right? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. What else you got for us this morning, Brad? No, just again, thanking the community for, for giving us that right to care for them. And, yeah. and um, you know, give us a call if you have any needs. We're Perfect. here for you. Perfect. Well, thanks for coming in. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you Friday night at Boo Fest downtown and get those uh, spooky treats. Absolutely. Uh, there are your costumes. Uh, there you <laughs> go. All right. That's the Woodlawn Hospital Report for the, the, today, October 26th.